Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you uh, another uh, full game recap. Actually, I was going to do live commentary, but my mic went out. So uh, this is a very good game, so I wanted to go ahead and definitely show this to you because uh, this guy was a worthy opponent, um, and uh, it is a shootout, and it comes down to the very last um, quarter or so. So uh, basically, I've got the ball in the first half, and um, I've got about four or five formations I'll be playing around with. Able to go and hit the guy with the end around uh, with the jet sweep. They able to go and get a first down right here. So um, a first down situation. Um, I think he was running some kind of a cover two against me, and I just pop it down. I threw at his user a little bit too much in this game. I'm going to pay for it a little bit later on, but right here. You got a little bubble read, try to go and take the run up uh, and able to go and pick up some pretty good yards with it. So uh, down in the second um, in two situation, and I go into the Y corner off out of this formation, and I was looking for the, uh, the slant and then checked it down to the underneath, underneath route. And right there, uh, he comes out and gets it. Uh, right here, I'm going with an, uh, basically an uh, angle smash type situation. And he actually had man coverage, and I threw right into his user and got away with one with uh, Tree Cohen right there. And I think he was running cover two on the previous player with some kind of a matching concept. So I ran into, I jumped into my cover two beater, and Patterson is going to be open right up in the middle of the seam. Is actually cover six, and I was able to go and get a touchdown against him. So um, I switched my playbook. I deliberately switched my playbook around to Cincinnati, and I noticed a subtle difference. And it might be just a Cincinnati or something like that, uh, but uh, the edge rusher which should be a lineman should be coming in on the blitz opposed to the the corner and for some particular reason that that meg uh dog blitz isn't set up so i if you can i don't know if you can see this but uh basically kind of messed up my reads he actually drops a, di a dime right here right past my, my coverage he had three guys in the area he's able to go to get it down uh to uh, around the 16 yard line and then actually comes uh with a little route, route right here which is a post route threw it early anticipated the route and actually got a touchdown against me so a good play for him. Uh, three, four. It looks like four quick score. Uh, four quick plays to be able to get that ball uh, in the end zone. So I didn't really see much of his offense. I didn't really get challenged at all. Right here is a bubble screen um, on the left hand side. It's an RPO bubble screen. And his defensive back, actually, he clicked onto his defensive back, and he's able to go and tackle it. I would have been house if he didn't click on. So right here, go back into mesh again. He's showing me a cover three shell. And I, I take Tariq Cohen and just go ahead and put him, in, uh, line him up right here. And the hole is wide open. He catches the ball, but he clicks on with his defensive back, and he's able to go and tackle it. But that could have been a touchdown if he, if he didn't make such a, a fast click on. Right here, I go into um, basically halfback check right here, check it down to uh, the little spot route. And look at this. I get a lot of lucky animations. He couldn't, he can't tackle me, and I'm going to be able to get the ball into the end zone with a first down. So this is my base defense that I'm actually running, but it's not set up correctly. I should be getting edge pressure, but what happened is my defensive lineman, or my edge rusher, was actually falling back in the zone. So it was kind of defeating the purpose, so I actually had to make more adjustments than I wanted to. Right here, I just hit him with just a regular uh, man blitz. Caught him off guard, get him into a fourth and long situation, and this guy was getting frustrated with my defense, with my look, and uh, basically he, he no huddles right here, and I, I, I go ahead and switch into the linebacker, try to take away his middle read. He throws right into coverage, and uh, Prince uh, Akamu, or whatever his name is, is able to go and pick him off and get the ball down to the 34-yard line. So feeling pretty good about this situation. I go ahead and go into a split formation, just playing around with these particular formations, just try to give my opponent a different look, and right here, I'm able to go ahead and take the ball to the outside, miss miss a couple tacklers, and able to go ahead and get the ball uh, for a nice little seven-yard gainer. Go to the bubble screen over here. He actually pursues. I do a little spin move right here, and Davis is able to go ahead and take the ball up down to the two-yard line or four-yard line in the red zone. And they go with a split formation, a little delay route by the running backs, able to go and take it in and go up by two scores. So in a good situation right here, he actually has a really good return with his kicker. But right here, he hits the seam, takes off, and because I have a, I have a, a, a not my defensive back out there, I got myself out of position. He takes, a, he he basically gets a one play touchdown on me. So not exactly the way we want to start. Uh, basically, put him, get the ball back to him. I want to make him earn his yards and put them, put him in a situation. So check it down right here with the running back. You get a nice little spin move with Cohen. 
get it down to a third in one situation and I just try to do a nice little run in the inside with Cohen and get the ball down I'm thinking right now just get in field goal run get in field goal range you're gonna be okay go back to mesh again because he's 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 been switching around go ahead and try to pop him and but right here the ball is a little bit too high and he clicks on with his defensive back to take it away so I saw he's running a lot of cover three, uh, so I figured I can go ahead and hit him across the backside. So look at this, the, the wide receiver is wide open, but the ball does not actually get further out uh, and actually clicks on and makes the play. So third and ten situation. I'm, I'm trying to do uh, basically uh, the, uh, the halfback shark uh, play, and unfortunately he sacks me with the edge and actually gets it off. So all i got to do is just make sure I don't give a fast score and just that quick on a kickoff. He ties the game up 21-21 in the second half, and this game is just a shootout. So I'm not feeling pretty good about the situation. I need to get some points on the board. I need to get some stops against this guy, and uh, it not things are just not working out for me right now. So back to uh, basically the, the spot route. The angle, uh, the, 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 the corner route is wide open, able to go check down to that, get a nice little first down. Now this is a play that actually I'm looking to go in and find a spot in the zone. And uh, right here, I'm going to go ahead and look. The spot is open, but his user falls right into the area. And he's able to go ahead and click on and actually take that ball away from me. So uh, it was the right read, but his user was in there and just took it away. So uh, it was like go going against a vanilla defense. I made the right choice, but um, it just he he got it. So right here, I actually forced him to throw the ball away, which was a smart move by him. Now I go into the mid blitz situation. He blocks his running back. So he's like my defense is dictating how he can run his his offense because he blocks his running back. He takes it out of the equation, and he makes a good read right there with the circle route. Going to cover two uh, shell right here. I'm going to go ahead and use her, uh, my linebacker uh, over the middle. And uh, right here, he makes a play, throws the ball up. That's actually kind of an aggressive play. Uh, defensive backs out there to go and swat the ball. So fourth and five situation. I actually changed. I altered my view. He's able to go ahead and quick hike me for an easy completion to the outside. And right here, he actually throws right into my user. He switched up his, his uh, offense right here. And Clinton Dix is able to go ahead and take the ball into field goal range. Um, I'm actually down in the red zone right now, feeling pretty good about the situation. So got an opportunity to get back into it. I go with a nice little run play, stay conservative, but uh, he clicks off and actually gets me in a situation. I go back to the halfback shark right here, and I let go of this ball late. His defensive back actually jumps on the wheel route. I should have I should have looked at that route quicker and got rid of that ball quicker because that was the right read, and I give the ball right back to him. So we're just trading interceptions back and forth. Now, I don't know what was with going out with my defense. I, I'm in a Cincinnati playbook. Um, previously, I was in a 34, and it sets the play up a little bit uh, little bit differently. Uh, he actually tries to take a shot up top. My defensive back is out there to go and make a play. Now I switch it around a little bit, go into I think a cover two, I believe, or a cover three. He makes a nice little play uh, and gets some good animation to go ahead and get the ball uh, down to the 30-yard line. And I'm going to go back uh, once again to the, the, the neg blitz. He checks it up. He has a nice little streamer, a, a seam route, but uh, it does not. He's not able to hold on to the ball against the Chicago Bear defense. So back to uh, basically man blitz, and if you don't block your running back against that uh, that dog blitz, you are going to get sacked. So third and 19 situation. Once again, I'm going to go with uh, this blitz. I actually, I actually switch it up into that cover three, uh, show two type situation. He has nowhere to go with the ball. I actually go and send the dogs after him, and he has to settle down. And I think what here is he's so frustrated. Fourth and four situation, stay with the same defense. Right here, I think I switch over and user Floyd uh, is, a, is a man defender, and I'm just going to try to wait late. And he actually takes a shot up top, and Jackson's able to go ahead and intercept the ball against him and get myself into his field position. So on the 50-yard line, ball with uh, basically three minutes. Going back to this play again, I've already thrown a couple interceptions with this particular play. Should be, it, look, it looks like man coverage. And right here I go ahead and throw another interception. This is the irony. is That's one of my favorite plays in the game, and he just had that play locked down. I would always make a bad decision either way. So he quick hikes me uh, with the run play. I'm able to go and shut it down. That's why I like this double-A gap blitz. We'll go to back uh, no huddles me again 
Now I go into the man version of the blitz and am able to go ahead and shut down his run. So he's in a third and three situation. See, I was getting frustrated. This guy's actually just, he's quick hiking. He's not hes not burning the clock down. He's frustrated with what he's seeing right now. I'm actually going into that, that shell, that defensive shell, and I get some good defensive pressure with my um, uh, defensive end right there. So he punts the ball away, which... In the fourth quarter, is a smart thing to do. You don't want to give me a short field. You don't want to give me guaranteed points because uh, I was it was a fourth and four situation. So it's kind of a catch-22 in this type of situation is that do you, do you punt? Do you go ahead and go for it? Um, it's smart because based on what's going on, this is a man-beater play, but he actually had like zone coverages, and he actually had everything locked up so smartly. I get rid of the ball. No reason to hold on to it. Back on defense again. Do the um, basically the little end around the jet sweep. Uh, his blocker does not. My block does not hold right there. That could have been some more yards. Go into the cross route right here, and I throw right towards his user. Get away with one right there. Able to go ahead and pick up, I believe, a first down. So first down right here. Going into um, the smash concept, smash half back play right here, and I'm looking high low, and um, I. Was going to go to the check down, but I checked down to the running back on uh, on this side and just take my yards. Just keep moving the ball, make, make the yardage a little bit shorter. Nice little inside zone right here. Uh, get a nice little uh, fall forward animation and pick up a couple more yards with it. And right here, I go ahead and jump into um, the, uh, the 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 fade stop play, and um, I think I think he was running man coverage, and this is what was my read. So he actually had man coverage. You can see that the defender is not on the wide receiver right here, and I actually get right into field goal range. So, so I'm in a pretty good situation. Uh, he was running cover. He jumped into cover four in this type of situation. So this is a second down. He ran cover four against me before, so that's when you go ahead and jump into those draw plays. Those draw plays really destroy cover four and it's consistent again this year. So first and 10 situation in field goal range. I'm burning the clock. Uh, he comes after me with uh, basically the pinch doggo blitz, as you can see. So I know that I've got a man beater. I'm going to go ahead and put that man beater out there, block my running back, check down to it. I can't get the animation get a first down, but that's all right. I'm burning another timeout from him, um, and I want to go with the high percentage thing. I want to burn this guy's timeouts and not give him an opportunity to get the ball down there. So high percentage, do a little pitch play. I'll settle, burn a timeout. 35 seconds left uh, with no timeouts is not going to give him any time to do anything with the end zone. So uh, I'm able to go ahead and go up 24 to 21 right here. So go with uh, basically three deep blitz. This is blitzes off the corners. Uh, his his line actually takes it it takes it on perfectly right there. But you can see he can't get out and watch the run, run down. He runs down da, 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 down to eight seconds left. He's still setting his play up. Um, and basically it's four seconds. If he doesn't make a play with this, his game's pretty much over with, and I'm able to come down with an interception on that. So once again, my subscribers, thank you for your support, guys. I really appreciate it. Nagy's happy about that win, um, and this uh, it gives me another win on um, regs against a fairly good team. So once again, thank you for your support, guys, and until next time.